All right, this is gonna be a really short tutorial on how to use the um, the pencil to do um, uh, tracings with it, as opposed to doing drawings. So, yeah, some of you aren't really uh, comfortable with um, free drawing with the pencil, like I showed you in the um, the previous video. Uh, you can actually use this to um, you know help you with um, tracing your drawing. So, I'm just gonna get my Illustrator set up with my um, abstract design. One second, uh, I'll locate my file. So I'm going to open. And right, I'm just going to pull from this one. I'm going to start back from here. So I'm just going to grab this and copy and paste it onto a new document. So just remember, this is how you're going to start it off. Uh, you want to make a new document, uh, copy C, command C, and then command V to paste it. Hopefully by now you're really comfortable with that command. I'm just going to make this really big on my white page. So I'm just holding the shift key, just dragging and making it large. All right, so... Now, one thing you can do too, this will make things a little bit easier with the drawing if um, you don't want to free draw with a pencil. You can actually click and drag this JPEG file of your um, the designs that you made and just drag it onto the um, actual file. Although you might have to resize it because it might be really, really big, which is totally fine. So you can just click and drag, just hold the sh make sure to hold the shift key when you resize it. And you can just leave it on that gray space just so it's um, you know not on your workspace. All right, one thing you can do though is you can you know, zoom in on the picture that you made, or the, the sketches that you did, and you can actually draw on top of it. So I'm just gonna use the uh, eye drop tool. I'm gonna eye drop this white. And you know, same like we do with the pen, so you just click on these points. So I'm just making a straight line here. I'm just clicking off from one point to the other, and I'm just gonna make a curve here click and drag and make the curve. So it might be a little bit easier if you just trace with the um, the pen tool. And you see how, like, how it's sometimes a little hard to see like what I'm tracing. So you might want to um, uh, flip it to the outline for now. So basically it's just making an outline for you. And I'm going to flip it back later. So I'm just you know tracing this curve that I made, this line. And this might make things a lot easier to do as opposed to just free drawing with the, um, uh, the pencil that I showed you earlier. So now I'm just done tracing that one shape that I made. I'm going to um, you know, flip this over so it's a fill. And now I got that shape that I want. So you know, I, I create that shape here, and I'm actually going to take this over to the other side here. Obviously, it's not the correct size, so you're just going to use the selection tool and just hold the shift key and just make it bigger. And you kind of just have to eyeball like where it was and you know, just like the size. <laughs> I think this is like fairly close to like what I had originally, and you know you can do that the same with like all those shapes that you uh, made in your drawing. So like this shape here, I do the same thing. Um, you know, I use the eyedropper, I drop the black. Uh, you know, just click, make these points. You know, make that curve. Obviously, I'm going to like adjust the curve because you know my my sketch isn't perfect. So this is this is kind of like one reason I also wanted you to use the, the learn to use the pen tool because you, you get um, nice cleaner lines as opposed to using the tablets. Uh, you know it takes a lot of uh, time and control to use the tablets. This is a lot easier to uh, use from the um, start. So I'm just gonna flip it and you know move it over to the other side, and then I got just the size and you know put it like where it should be. So. You know, that's really easy to do, I feel like. You know, I could do like the same thing with down here. Uh, whoops. You know, like, uh, I'll just do this. Just make my shape here. Kind of like make it close to like how that looks. You know, then I could uh, take it over here and just put it on there. So you just have to go like back and forth with like your rough sketch and the final design. You know, this will just go back to here again. 
And then I would do like the transparent and the um, you know the and then use like the gradient tool. 